Hi everybody, Cyberif here. I just want to do a quick video on Tasha K interview with Jaguar Wright. And um, I've actually watched the interview twice. Now I want to um, speak on this subject because I find the interview quite disturbing in the sense that Tasha K talks about mental health and she speaks about mental health as, as if she is qualified to speak on the subject quite clearly and and I'm, I'm just speaking in general anyone with any common sense and Tasha K thinks that she's the only one who's got common sense on YouTube just because she has you know 500 or 600,000 followers or something like that okay she thinks that because of her followers which someone could question how many of those followers are actually real anyone on online will know that you're probably gonna get at best one to three percent of your followers at best if you can get to 10 percent of your followers on any platform that's a world record and tasha k sits there and acts as if she can speak on any celebrity any person's life any subject when if someone really looked at tasha k's background that's just as troubling than a lot of people's background. And I'm not going to go into that because the information is already public on that. But I'm sticking to this interview that she's done with Jaguar Rat and, and especially on the words mental health. If I was to look at Tasha Kay and Jaguar Wright and listen to them speak and listen to the intelligence of Tasha Kay and Jaguar Wright and decide which one is suffering from any form of mental health, it would be Tasha Kay. And I'll tell you why. Listen to the way Jaguar Wright speaks. In all of her interviews, in all of what she has to say about the music industry, which actually takes, if you're going to speak about the history of music and the music industry, that takes a high level of intelligence just to speak on the subject. And Jaguar Wright does that quite clearly, eloquently, and she does it with intelligence and knowledge on the subject. Tasha K cannot do that. That's why if you watch the actual interview and watch the body language of Tasha K, watch her eyes. Watch how normally she's fiery, she's swinging around in a chair, she's, she's, she's speaking with such confidence that she knows. But in this interview, she didn't know. And she was also approaching it from a very judgmental, and also cynical and she was doubtful of I think almost nearly everything that Jaguar Wright had to say. To me she came across like the lab TV. And if you look at the problems that Vlad TV has 
and the way Vlad TV goes about interviewing people in the music industry. It's almost like a setup. The questions are almost like geared towards where are you going to slip up? What are you going to put on the table that will incriminate you at some point in your life? If you watch how Black TV does his interviews, it's always questions that pull information, open-ended questions that are designed from a psychological point of view to pull information out of the person that they're interviewing. Okay, don't take my word for it. Watch what I say and go and watch for that TV. Tasha K is trying to do the same thing with Jaguar Wright. Whereas what she mostly does is gather her, her, uh, her, her research, her information, and then she comes on her show, swings around on her chair, and then she throws it out there by her sources, text messages, Instagram posts, etc., etc., or conversations, etc. Not that she gets it always right. In fact, who's to say what's right or true and what's false in what she's saying? Okay? But in this interview with Jaguar Wright, she didn't she couldn't do that. Obviously, her sources couldn't gather much information for her to present to Jaguar Wright that they had researched or found. So Jaguar Wright was clearly being given questions, open-ended questions, for her to fall into some kind of trap or whole. Now anyone with mental health problems would have easily fallen into the hole or trap. But Jaguar Wright is far more intelligent than even Tasha K. Clearly. Absolutely clearly. I guarantee you, if you was to put an IQ test in front of Tasha K and Jaguar Wright or an exam, I guarantee you, and I put my money on it, that Jaguar Wright would win, would pass with high marks. She's an intelligent person. Listen to the way she speaks. She may mix what she does with the street vibe or slang, but if you watch, she also can speak at board level. She can speak eloquently. She understands intelligence. She understands psychology. She understands a lot of other things because she's been exposed to these things, especially through the music industry, over decades. And it's sad to see Tasha Kay come at another Afrocentric black woman to try to pull her in the rabbit hole. To, 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 to label her or bring mental, the words mental health to such a person. If someone is suffering from mental health, you will be on some form of medication. Now, most people, especially in this world that we live, especially with COVID-19 or coronavirus, are on some form of 
of drug or alcohol or weed or something that people are using to balance living and life. If you have PTSD or you have bipolar or most people are actually bipolar. Is someone going to tell me Donald Trump is not bipolar? Bi Donald Trump has more problems and he's closely attached to medical problems than Jaguar Wright. And if Tasha K cannot see that, she needs to shut her YouTube channel down, go read some books, educate herself. Because just because you have 300 or 500,000 or 600,000 followers on YouTube does not make you a lecturer or someone who is educated. And Tasha K needs to lose her followers for the way she's handled Jaguar Wright. She needs to stop attacking her own community. It's interesting that Tasha K hardly attacks anybody white or pink. More accurately, pink. Right? How come she doesn't do that? Why doesn't Tasha K try to interview Clive Davis? Why doesn't Tasha K try to go after Hollywood or go after MAGA Trump supporters? Is Tasha K really for her own community? For her own people? Or is she against her own community and her own people? These are the questions that Tasha K needs to ask herself and answer to herself. Or ask her followers and answer to her followers. Which side are you on? Are you on the side of P. Diddy? Can you, can you not see that hip-hop is a genocide? Can you not see that hip-hop is turning from the, from the start of hip-hop, Jay-Z? What did Jay-Z become popular and a celebrity for? Let me ask you that, Tashi K. And I'm a nobody, so you don't have to reply to me or answer me, okay? Right? I'm a nobody. I don't know nothing, okay? But watch this. What did Jay-Z become popular for as a celebrity? Tell me. For his music, right? And what terminology did Jay-Z use? To become popular as a celebrity. Can you answer that question? Just in case you can't. Was Jay-Z known for calling women. Hoes and bitches. Repeatedly. Do you remember the time when Oprah. Didn't like Jay-Z. Why? Because of his lyrics, right? I'm sure you can get your team to research that. Jay-Z is known for using the terminology of hoes and bitches. He's become a billionaire or millionaire based on those words. Now if you look at hip-hop, how many rappers call women hoes and bitches? How many rappers talk about guns and violence? 
and how many bullets or what they can do to this person or that person in nearly every song. This is what Jaguar Wright is trying to address. And who's behind the whole hip-hop industry? Is it not P. Diddy? Jaguar Wright is trying to address this. She's, she was actually part of the problem, but she's now trying to become part of the solution. And you sit there and you cannot take anything positive about Jaguar Wright to help Jaguar Wright push and create a new narrative that will save and a new lifestyle and fashion that will save a lot of women from twer twerking, from, from strip clubs, from being called and calling themselves, now they're calling themselves hoes and bitches, right? It's time for change. And if you can't see the positive changes that can come about if the music industry changes its lyrics and its narratives and its stereotypes, because we need the young girls and our children and boys to not be influenced by hardly any clothes. Ratchety wigs. Ratchety lifestyles that most girls now think the strip clubs and the dollar bill is more important than education. Am I right? Can you see that, Tashike? Worldwide, throughout the whole of America, can you not see that the young girls are acting like the boys and being they want to be badass? They want to be street. They want to be gang. They want to be violent. Can you not see that, Tashi K? And I know this video ain't going to get the views that your video gets. And all, you know, People don't want sense in this day and age. They're more into nonsense. Because of the music industry. Because of media corporations that want to push narratives that make and enslave black people and brown people. Can you not see that? Can you see that from the 1960s? What do you think Dr. Martin Luther King was marching for or marching against? It's time for some sense. Not nonsense. And Jaguar Wright was trying to come to your platform and she has been speaking on other platforms on what needs to be sense and intelligence and knowledge and wisdom. And you sit there like Vlad TV. And you sit there like someone with a MAGA hat on. To discredit her and to pull her down into your rabbit hole. I find this disturbing and disgusting. And I know you don't care, but I'm actually doing this video and speaking on it because there are people who do care. 
There's people who care about every channel on YouTube, what every channel on YouTube is doing. And there's too much nonsense on YouTube. But you see, YouTube doesn't want things with sense. It doesn't want things with unity. It doesn't want things that's going to educate and uplift or empower, especially black and brown people. The majority of what's on YouTube is the opposite of empowerment. The opposite of truth. The opposite of motivational, uplifting and educating, especially when it comes to black and brown people. Tasha K, you owe Jaguar Wright a big apology. And I think you need to sit and dis consider giving her a big apology and try to help her not bring her down because she needs to do her mission her calling because this is the closest that the world will ever get to what's true within the music industry and what needs to be changed in the music industry, not just contracts, not just people with talent being enslaved and getting paid for little or nothing, or by little or nothing. You know, last night I was watching Billie Holiday, and I think Tasha K, you need to go and watch the documentary on YouTube about Billie Holiday. Billie Holiday was extremely talented, as you know. She was the Marilyn Monroe of the music industry when it comes to blues and jazz. And some people would say she was more jazz than blues, if you watch the documentary. She lived on her tour bus, literally. But what happened to Billie Holiday? What was the ending of Billie Holiday? She was hooked on drugs by the industry. The fast pace of tours. She was then arrested for having drugs, etc., and all these different things, and put in jail a few times. Then they made a law. Watch this. They made a law that she couldn't even enter, enter into a nightclub and sing in places where there was alcohol. Isn't that interesting? So that affected her income. So she had to go through these trials and tribulations that's put upon her by not just society, but the industry. It's a lot more to the story, but it's along the same lines. An example after example after example that Jaguar Wright is trying to share with you. And just because she doesn't have a PhD on the subject or a doctorate or whatever you want to call it. Doesn't mean that she doesn't know it because she knows the industry by decades of experience. She's walked the walk. Now she's talking the talk. And you sit there like some first lady of the Trump church or the Vlad TV church and you find it hard to believe her. 
For you to even mention the words mental health, you should be ashamed of yourself. And you should check your own mental health. Because I, like I said, she's far more intelligent than you. Hands down. Clear. Clear. It's time for change. It's time for change. And black lives matter, brown lives matter, young girls' lives matter, young boys' lives matter, families matter, and you have that platform to either do good or do evil, to either be positive or negative, and you need to look in the mirror and check all those things that I've just said, okay? If you're on YouTube, please like, subscribe, hit the, hit the notification bell. For more videos on things that matter. Thank you for listening.